This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Francis Wang with your CBS 4 News update. A one year old boy is dead and six other people are hurt after a rollover crash on Alligator Alley. Troopers say a Nissan Frontier pickup truck rolled over several times and ended up facing down. Some of the people inside were able to get out and tell BSO deputies about the child who was thrown from the pickup. Investigators say a blown tire may have caused the crash. They're also looking into whether there were too many people inside that truck. We're also learning more about the cyber attacks on Miami Dade public schools. The district now says 16 year old South Miami High School student David Oliveros is partly responsible for the problems with their online learning system. He is now back home and scheduled to be in juvenile court next week. He seemed pretty intelligent. I mean, I didn't think he would be able to actually be able to do that kind of stuff. He's not a bad kid. He's never been in trouble. Police are now looking into whether the other attacks came from overseas or if IP addresses were bought from other countries. The district says the newest online learning platform is working better. Now to a CBS 4 News health alert. The Florida Department of Health confirms five new cases of West Nile virus in Miami-Dade County. Officials say they were transmitted locally between June and July. West Nile is a mosquito-borne illness that can cause a fever, headache, pain, and extreme fatigue. There have been 49 confirmed cases of the virus this year. And finally this Friday, quite a birthday celebration celebration in Pompano Beach. Happy birthday to you. Varnus Huff, who lives at the John Knox Village Assisted Living Facility, just turned 100 years young, and she was able to celebrate her birthday with her daughter. Just Tuesday, Governor Ron DeSantis lifted the ban on visits to nursing homes and similar facilities that had been in place since March. I feel very, very elated that I ha have this many friends to do all this for me. It's wonderful. I never thought it would happen. You look forward to many more birthdays to come? Well, I don't know. I just feel like I'm, I'm just lucky to have this one. Huff tells us her secret to a long life is simply staying positive. Now, CBS4 Weather. Welcome to the weekend. As we look at the radar, we're waking up with just a few showers, mainly dry really for most of South Florida. Breeze out of the east, though, could carry in a stray shower here or there. But hazy skies today due to the Saharan dust, hot and humid too, highs in the low 90s. It's going to feel like the hundreds when you factor in the humidity. And yeah, can't rule out the chance for a few showers. We're still going to be hazy as we head into your Saturday, so keep that in mind. And we are going to be dealing with some spotty storms. The rain chance increasing as we head into Sunday, scattered storms and by Monday for Labor Day when many have day off we are going to see the potential for passing storms due to more moisture around and temperatures will be in the upper 80s as we head into early next week on Monday and Tuesday we remain unsettled and that rain chance will be higher. That's our news update for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines. 